What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I've partnered with Edgar's Beauty where we are going to be doing a get and ready with me skincare routine alongside my agent and publicist Fabrizia. You guys always have skincare queries for me. You're always asking me about all things industry related. So I thought let's combine these two into one video. You guys know that I've had skin issues in the past and you mostly know me with a full face of makeup. So I thought today we are coming clean. We are literally going to be coming clean of this mask and coming clean of all things that it takes to build your own digital brand. Now Fabrizia is a little bit older than I am with great skin and over 15 years of experience experience in the publicity and talent management industry and so I really think that she's going to have some incredible insight to share with us today. So let's head to our office. This is my manager slash agent Fabrizia. Hola. She <laughs> is the most awesome person I could ever have representing me but she is also an amazing girl boss. She owns the agency 20 Across which is a PR and talent management agency. And she represents myself and some of the best uh, musicians and TV presenters in Radio, the country. Yeah, musicians. comedians as well. I comedians, think. yeah. Yeah, so she's a busy girl and she's really amazing at every single thing that she does. So today we're gonna be doing a Get Unready With Us video as opposed to mm -hmm. a Get Ready With Us video. We're gonna be doing a little skincare routine and just chatting. So if you're interested to know how our relationship works, you want to know all things management, when you should get a manager, and all of that, then keep watching. First, we are going to go in with the Sensei Silk Purifying Gentle Makeup Remover for Eye and Lip. I'm very excited to try this. I've actually never tried this one before. And the fact that it's specifically mm. for eyes and lips, I think, is pretty cool. Whoopsie. All right. Yes. What am now, I doing with this now? You're going to take off your eye makeup. My eye makeup? Yeah. Okay. Well, not Oh, that's no. nice. First impressions, the stuff's good. So Fabs, you have super amazing skin. It is genetics. Mm -hmm. So my mommy had amazing skin. Yeah. Um, so I was kind of blessed with that. Mm -hmm. But I am very lucky that um, a moisturizing soap mm -hmm. and water, mm -hmm. lukewarm water, um, has done the trick for me for many, yeah. many years. Also moisturizer with an mm -hmm. SPF. Oh yeah, that's Every super day. important. Mm -hmm. Because I found that once I started combining my corrector with a mm -hmm. sunblock, my marks actually started disappearing properly oh, because wow. what you don't realize is you might be using the corrector but then the sun is coming into your home or your Makes office sense. whatever and mm -hmm. it's actually darkening the yeah. spots even more but the older i get the more i suspect that i need to add different things yeah. into my skincare routine yeah like a eye cream or like a yeah yeah so on the topic of skin mm. tell me yes Moving along, as an <laughs> industry manager and agent and just okay. all around mogul, like seriously guys, you, you don't know what she does behind the scenes, she literally runs my life for me. Um, There's constantly makeup coming off. Tell me, how thick does your skin metaphorically have to be to be in the public eye, not necessarily as an influencer, but mm -hmm. as a musician or an actress, like, like how important is it to have a thick skin? How mm. important is it to have, um, I don't want to say confidence, but like an ego and a bit of like sass and like, mm. you know what I mean? Is there room for insecurity? Is there room for self-doubt and mm. all of those things? What do you think about that? It's a combination because mm -hmm. everyone is human. Every, it's natural to have self self-doubt. It's natural to every once in a while doubt what you're doing mm -hmm. or your confidence level drops a little bit. But having confidence, it does help, but I think it's also the passion. Mm -hmm. If you're passionate about what you do, you're going to do everything possible to do it properly. Yeah. So confidence is needed, but it's also very important to note that you are human. Yeah. Everyone takes a knock. Yeah. I also find that a lot of the time that you can source your power mm. from your insecurities. Yes. Which I think is amazing. Yeah. Okay, so next we are going mm -hmm. to use this Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and we're going to take off the a rest day. of... <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> we're going to take off the rest of our makeup. Okay. I really love this stuff. You can see Ooh. I've already used it quite a bit. So basically you just take a bunch of it, slap it mm -hmm. on your face and then kind of massage it in and it literally melts off your makeup. Next question. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you deal with people's mm -hmm. egos? Whether it's from a brand, from a celebrity that you manage, because mm -hmm. I'm sure you must have, I mean, you've been in the industry for like, is, how many years? So like, it's 15 years, years in total. Shh, don't give my age away. 
<laughs> it was finding that balance. So it hasn't mm -hmm. always been that easy for me. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't always easy listening to somebody bark orders and take it and smile. Yeah, It's come with a lot of experience and just realizing where the person's coming from. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the time it's a people, they just lash out because yeah. they're under their own deadline, they're under, mm -hmm. they're under their own pressures. Yeah. So you've got to kind of understand where it's coming from and not take anything personally. Yeah. Unless the person says something personal, yeah. I'm not going to take it personally. Yeah. Okay, so we just rinsed off our Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and next we're gonna go in with our mm. Dior Hydro Life Glow Better Fresh Jelly Mask. Mm. So it's quite nice because it's got these like little exfoliating fragments in here as well. Oh wow! Yeah, so just okay. dig in there and we're gonna slap that on and we're gonna talk some more. Mm. So a question that I got asked from my followers quite mm -hmm. a few times was at which point as an influencer should I get a manager or how famous do I have to be was like one of the questions or how many followers or mm. you know how well, how do I get signed okay. so can you answer that question good question so it's not so much about your numbers mm -hmm. although a lot of people will say that it's about your numbers a lot of brands still traditionally look at your numbers and the higher your numbers the more popular you are but we all know that whole buying followers story mm -hmm. which a lot of brands have cottoned on to so, um, and then there's the whole micro macro influencer mm -hmm. debacle. Um, and I would like to say that it depends on your followers, your engagement, um, and your target audience. Because you could only have a thousand followers, but those thousand followers are the right followers mm -hmm. for a particular brand. Mm -hmm. So that's on the brand side. Now, when do you get management? There's a whole lot of factors myself as a manager, as an agent. Even as a publicist, I'll look at how niche is that influencer, whether they're micro or macro, because sometimes you've got the numbers, but you don't necessarily have a story. You're, you may be one of a thousand people that are doing the exact same thing. But if you have a particular story, um, if you have a particular niche in the market, then you're marketable. Mm -hmm. And it also depends on how many brands you could market yourself to. Mm -hmm. You could have a thousand followers again, but you might be able to attract a lot of brands to your platform. Mm -hmm. So as a manager, I'll always look at those variables. So mm -hmm. it really doesn't only come down to your numbers. Yeah. It comes down to what you're doing. I always say this as well, because people mm -hmm. always say, you know, how can I grow my following? How can I grow my likes? Mm -hmm. How can I do this? And I always say, don't focus on that. Yeah. Focus on growing your, your, your mm -hmm. content itself, your standard. Yeah. And think about what you want to say 100% so on mm -hmm. that topic of niches as well mm -hmm. a couple of people have asked me mm -hmm. um, do we struggle with the fact that I am a Muslim blogger mm -hmm. slash influencer I don't really like the word influencer but we can use it for, for lack of a better word we can use it <laughs> Do, because a lot of my followers yeah. are obviously Muslim, do we struggle because I'm a modest racer? Tell them. No, not at all. Because that's her niche. Yeah. You it's see? the opposite. We so, actually get yeah. a lot more interest, especially also from a PR perspective. A lot more people mm. want to do more interviews. Um, mm -hmm. they, they work with us as well because, for example, it might be a target of female audiences. Mm -hmm. So, because... I'm a modest dresser and I'm Muslim, you won't find that I actually have a lot of guys following me. So mm. the brand actually hits their market a lot better mm. because I've got like 85% female where somebody else, if they are, you know, no offense, if they're a little bit sexy, they might just have like a bunch of yeah. guys or so following them. Just so then it actually the sexiness. lowers your engagement yeah your engagement mm. to the target audience mm. so because also brands and managers and agents they also look at how the sorry influencer mm. it's okay <laughs> <laughs> how the influencer engages with their following mm -hmm. so you're phenomenal with that and i'm not just saying that because mm. you're my clients but you engage with every single person that comments yeah i try on, really yeah, and it's incredible to see that because yeah. that is very, very important. Yeah. If, if, if one of your followers actually asks you a question about a product, you answer them. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know the answer, you or I or somebody is going to try and find out. You yeah. know? And that's also very important. I also think that when you want to approach an agent, you need to have something for them to work with. Like yeah. For example, I 
approached Fabs. This was also a question that somebody asked me was how did we meet? Fabs actually used to be the uh, brand manager for mm -hmm. Adidas Originals for quite a couple of years and that's actually how we met. And I was always just so taken aback by how organized she is. And when I heard she started her own agency, you know, I gave her some time. I wasn't sure what exactly she was going to be doing. But when I saw she was representing a bunch of people, I wanted in. <laughs> and also at the same time, I was already working with a bunch of brands. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd obviously worked with her before and so she had something to work with. Mm -hmm. I knew what my niche was. Mm -hmm. you, you can't come to an agent and then say, you know, find my niche for me, find me clients, do all of these things mm -hmm. um, because they need something to work with yeah. as well. So it's a, it's a give and a take mm -hmm. and um, I think once you really feel like you have that and you're taking your mm -hmm. blog or your digital brand seriously as a business mm -hmm. and you understand that business and you feel like, hey, you know, I want to take it to the next level, get an agent. I think I got Fabs Agreed. involved at the perfect time mm -hmm. um, because I was landing a lot of clients anyway mm -hmm. and I was feeling like, A, I can't manage and B, I wanted to be... Um, represented properly and I wanted to not be taken advantage of mm -hmm. because that can be something that you'll find a lot of brands will do they'll say oh we've got yeah we want you to do five million things and we don't have budget or can we pay you mm -hmm. with a voucher or can we Famous do this or that it. yeah no so budget. she <laughs> actually just deals with all of my bookings with my invoicing with all of those things mm -hmm. so that I can focus on creative and so that I know I'm also taken care of yeah, so that's kind of when you know it's a bit of give and a bit of take. You mm -hmm. want an agent, you're going to have to have something for them to work with. And the story part of things. So also we do publicity and we do the management yeah. side. So if you have a story, it's actually great because then we can publicize that story. Or And when I say story, it's like you as a person, as an individual, what do you have to offer? What story do you have? Where did you come from? That kind of thing. And what is your what is your what are your platforms platforms yeah. all about? Um, and that's quite nice to get you out into the market, into the consumer market. Then brands start taking notice mm -hmm. of you even more. Okay, so off camera we just uh, washed that the oil mask off our faces, and we are going in with the Clarence toning lotion next. What does the toner do? Okay, so a toner basically brings your skin's um, surface to the optimum pH level. Oh. Yeah, because your skin's actually a bit acidic and it also closes your pores. And this one is alcohol free. Okay, so next we are going to go in with our Solal Revitalizing Eye Serum mm. and my favorite moisturizer, which is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. You guys might remember, I swear by wearing this when I fly, especially. Mm -hmm. So, another question that we got asked from yeah. our followers is um, do you have any advice for anybody wanting to grow and start their own digital personal brand on Instagram or YouTube or any other platform? What I do you love advise? This question. Love it. Because <laughs> I always say the same three things. Okay. So because you know I'm super organized. Be organized. Start with a good foundation. It's not only on your skin that you need to have a good foundation. You need to have a good foundation for your business mm -hmm. um, and your brand. Just remember yeah. you're a brand as well. Then be passionate about what you're doing. Very, very important because it shows and be authentic. Yeah. That also shows. Okay, so now that we've done our skin on our faces, we're also going to be treating our hands because hands are super important and it's what people kind of forget about. Never mind manicures, the actual skin. I've been told I have the softest hands, just by Ooh. the way. Like, girls I don't shake your hand, always just your feel hand. them. They're like really soft. <gasps> like baby soft. You do have soft hands. Yeah, oh so on that note, we're going to go in okay. with our Calso Body Cucamelon. Took me a while to wrap my head around that name. Kuka Melon Splash Exfoliating Body Wash and then we are going to use the Kuka Melon Splash Hand Lotion. So, funny story that mm -hmm. you don't actually know that I do on set sometimes like with clients. Mm -hmm. It's like, they'll ask oh. me to kind of like hold the product and then I prank them and I tell them I'm a hand model. And then I get uh -huh. like super extra then I'm like... Yeah, no, no, I actually do do hand modeling as well. <laughs> like, if you guys ever want to book me, you can just email Fabs. And, and they're like, oh, that's, like, so cool. Like, I don't know how, do you, this. how do you get into that? And then I say, I just noticed that I had a knack for it, and I just really went for it, and I just believed in myself. You know, the best thing about it is that you can just show up on set, and you can just look really crappy. But you then, see the hands. Yeah, you just need to see your hands, and it's just the best ever. You know, you can go and draw all night. Not that I do that, but you can do that, and you can have bags on your eyes, you can have dirty hair. 
here and it's fine because they only need your hands wow and then i had people, no idea you did this yeah i do this sometimes because like i mean you've got hours to kill sometimes mm. so this is how i prank people and a lot of the time they fall for it and wow yeah so if i ever forget to come clean to those people and say i'm actually kidding <laughs> you might get some hand um you might get some Jewelry. hand modeling uh, job inquiry. <laughs> Jewelry. <laughs> Jewelry. 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 Watches. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so now I wash this off. Yeah, wash that okay. off. Mm -hmm. Actually, it felt nice. Yeah. It's a, Can I, I call someone a cucumelon? It's a good name, hey? It's a good name. I've never heard of a cucumelon. Have you heard of a cucumelon? I don't know. Must I use it as an, a term of endearment or can nice. I just yell it at someone? Don't yeah. be a cucumelon. I like that name. <laughs> but I also can't see you yelling at anyone, though. Like me, even though you're spicy, you can be spicy. No, you haven't been in the office today. So that is it from us for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for you're joining welcome. us. Thank you. And I'll see you next time in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to be at Edgar's in Canal Walk this Saturday, the 28th of July at 11 a.m. So I'd love to meet you guys. I'm going to be talking all things skincare as part of their skincare unlimited promotion. And we're going to be giving away a ton of prizes. We're going to be taking cute pics, tons of selfies and giving hugs all around. So I hope to see you guys there. And if you have any other questions, industry related or you want to see something else on my youtube channel the comment section is always open for you thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all next time